yesterday, all of us took some time or should have taken some time to reflect on the tragedy that was September 11th and the terrible loss of life that happened at the World Trade Center and, and elsewhere that day. And also the people who got sick and died later or just got sick later because they were there helping. They were there trying to help other people and they suffered long-term health consequences. Those people, all of those people in both groups died and so it were tragic deaths and we should recognize that and, and mourn that. And as I was doing that yesterday, I also thought, what about the COVID deaths? When do we really mourn that? When do we really recognize and mourn the people more than 200 times as many who died on September 11th? And yes, COVID is a, it is a, a disease, a pandemic. It's not a terrorist attack. But we also must recognize that that number, I'm talking about just here in the United States, would be a lot lower if it hadn't been for deliberately, maliciously bad policymaking. We have to recognize that, but we have to mourn those deaths. But we don't, and we're reluctant to, because we can't mourn them without recognizing how they died and why they died. And President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris had a service of, of sorts on the eve of their inauguration, but that's not enough. We have, a, as a country, if we can and, and we should grieve the tragedy that was September 11th, we also must take time to grieve the ongoing tragedy that is COVID-19. And once we are really out of this, we should always look back on this period and grieve that loss and grieve those deaths.